I hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be a little bit more of a chit chatty, maybe quite rambly video as well because I haven't really thought out what I wanted to say. But it's been prompted by a conversation I had with a friend um, about being an expat and how much I miss it. Um, I don't know if you guys know or any new subscribers. I am no longer living in Korea. I know some of you have found me via my older videos, but I have since relocated back home. Um, but I was talking to my friends about why I love li living abroad and I'm sorry, I'm a bit nasally, so I'm like stumbling over my words, so please excuse me. But why I love living abroad and what it really means to me because I think a lot of the times people can't really comprehend how I've traveled so much or lived in another country for so much. But to me, it's, it's very simple. Like I love being in a new environment because I think a lot of the times when you're in your home country a lot, you get into a routine, you get into the status quo and you kind of don't really try new things. Like this weekend, it's been a bank holiday weekend. I haven't really done much. I know it's, it's carnival weekend as well. I just, I don't really do carnival. But if this was happening in say like Korea or wherever I'm living at the time, it would be something that I would make the effort to go and do. I think when, when you're living abroad, you try new things more. You're more willing to go out of your comfort zones and explore things more. And I love finding out that side of me. I know it's a bit cliche to say like I traveled and I've just discovered myself. I don't really feel that's the case. I think you just learn new things about who you are and you build upon the character that you already have because you're having experiences that you wouldn't have ordinarily have had otherwise. I think another thing I really like about being an expat is the change of your everyday scenery because living in London it's you don't really get skyscrapers we can't have them and then everything is more so a bit more residential whereas I was in Dubai if you've not seen my vlog check it out but I was in Dubai, Dubai in July and it's just such a stark contrast because everything is so new everything is so tall everything is so brand new and just so fancy so it's always a nice change to have from your usual day to day and that's what I really love about being in a new country. There's also the culture and depending on where you are it may frustrate you a lot but I think you have to understand that it, it's not your culture it's somebody else's and how you deal with it really does not change you, I'm trying not to be cliche, but how you deal with it really can shape you and help you realise how you deal with situations as a person, as an adult, as whatever, as an expat. But there were like, for instance, I keep going back to Korea because obviously that's the most recent expat experience I've had, but it was, there were so many experiences I had where culturally, I just sat and I was like, I can't, I can't fathom this. I can't fathom why you would do this. I can't fathom why you would want to do this. But it's your culture and I have to respect it. And it's just learning to adapt to those kind of situations and those experiences really does shape you and help you learn things. But it does give you such an interesting time of your life. I think I've been feeling this way because I'm getting the the wanderlust itch. I'm planning my holidays for next year and also editing the Dubai vlog really kind of put me back in that mindset. I just, I just love traveling so much. I don't think that itch will ever leave me and I'm at that point now where I don't know if I want to be an expat again but I kind of do but it's where am I going to go next? I don't know. I was literally the other day thinking maybe I should like try career again but Sometimes in life you've got to go forwards again. You can't revisit that because if I go back again, it's not going to be the same. All of my friends are gone. I'm going to have to make a new load of friends and it's just a bit long. So I think I'm kind of exploring somewhere else. But I just, I just love being an expat, guys. I think if you're somebody who's kind of weighing it up and thinking about whether or not you should do it, I will always tell you go ahead and do it because you'll never know. You might have a really awesome experience you might have a terrible experience but at least you know that you tried so that's my video about being an expat there wasn't really much structure to that video but i just kind of wanted to 
have a bit of verbal diarrhea and just get off my chest while I was thinking. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know if any of you have lived abroad. What have your experiences been? What have you felt? Do you feel differently to me? What do you think? Feel free to share below. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will speak to you all next time. Bye.